Hi, this is Dr. Pan, host of Tucson Math Doc channel on YouTube. Today we have a two very interesting question. We're asked to find a max and min of each function. Now there's a common uh, question is which one is vertex and which one is roots? Okay, vertex is also referred as the um, extreme value. Okay, so here we have a absolute minimum here. This is a vertex. Okay, you always find a vertex by completing squares. Actually, completing square is the reason we're doing the vertex in the first place. Okay, those points are called roots or zeros. Those are specific values such that it's magic x, so that when you plug the x or t or whatever variable you have into the equation, you have function equal to zero. Okay, that's the difference between the two. Now, since here we're looking for max and min, of course, we're going to be completing squares. So let's take the first one, equal to t squared minus 3t plus 8. Now, completing square is actually one of my favorite ones because if you really think about it, it's a pretty nifty trick. You're adding a magic number, and you're going to subtract the same number, and the old parts that I have, I have not touched. t squared minus 3t plus 8. The reason I'm going to add a number here is I want to regroup those three so that they become a complete square, thus completing square. That's why it's called completing square. The magic number you're going to put in there is you're going to take the coefficient in front of you, divide it by 2, and square. In our case, it's 9 over 4. Okay, Since you add a 9 over 4, you better subtract it. Otherwise, whatever you started is going to change. Okay, once you've done that, the first three become a a perfect square over here, so it's minus 2 over 3 squared. And then you're going to clean this up. Okay, this is your minima, maxima, okay, extreme value. And in our case, we have 9 over 4 plus 32 over 4. Okay, and then in my um, final complete square after the after I clean everything, so that's 32 of 9, that's a 21, okay, minus 21 over 4. This is my minimum value. Okay, so min is equal to minus 24, 21 over 4. Okay, let's do another one. That's, this one is a little more complicated, but not too bad. There are a couple of tricks you can do. 2 squared minus 5t plus 3. Okay, the first thing is this nasty 2, the conf constant in, in the front, you need to pull it out. Okay, minus 5 over 2 and t. Now I stopped over there, I left my 3 over here. If you want to pull the 2 out out of 3 as well, that's fine. It's just a little more work. Okay. Now let's go on from here. I'm going to do repeat the process of what I did before. I'm going to add a number, subtract the number. Okay. The reason is that then I don't want to change what I started with. The number I'm going to add in there, the magic number, is take the whatever coefficient I have before, divide it by 2, and square it. In our case, it's uh, 5 over 4 squared. It's a minus a plus, it doesn't make a difference. So I have 5 over 4 squared, because 5 over 4 squared. Plus 5 minus 5, it doesn't make a difference because I'm still going to end up with 25, positive 25. Okay, so I have 2. Now I'm going to regroup the first three. I have t minus 5 over uh, 4, the whole thing squared. So the reason I didn't bother to clean this up is I know this number goes right in there when I complete the square. Okay, so it's 5 over 4 square. And then I have minus, let's multiply this one out. So it's 25 over 16 plus 3. Okay, and then a couple more steps and we're done. Let's multiply this 2. Do not open this parenthesis. Leave it alone because it's already in a perfect square. Okay, next one I do have to because I'm distributing over here, okay? 25 times, divided by 16 times 2, so I divide by 8, and then plus 3. This becomes my value. Uh, in our case, it's a minimum value, okay? So let's simplify a little bit. Minus 25 over 2 plus 8 over 24, so I have minus 1 over 8 is my minimum value. All right, hope this helped. Have a confident day.